Those doors are locked. You really do have a good eye for this sort of thing. It smells like motor oil. Maintaining that ho maintaining that motorcycle must be Blaze's hobby. Excuse me? We're coming in. Anybody home? Doing something like this, it's as if we're a couple of petty thieves. But we are. Be quiet! Right now we're great thieves. Look, it's Get the it box. right. It's the box. Have some self-awareness. <sighs> she scolded me. Nobody's here. For now, it looks like we can get through this without being arrested. This isn't the time to be relieved. Now the real deal begins. Let's go look for the treasure. <laughs> we are looking for John, not treasure. Okay, yeah, look Each at the life is a real treasure, dum-dum. <laughs> it depends on how you view it. Anyway. Look at the box. Okay, look at the box. This large box. This must be it. This is probably the box that Mr. Powers said had been stolen. So John was stashed in this box, and then transported all the way here. Please don't talk about people as if they had objects. However, if that's the case, uh -huh. there is also a possibility that John is still somewhere in this garage. Okay, let's go look for him. Our honor as the great thief and her assistant depend on it. Uh, good grief. <laughs> Looks like someone was broken there. What's well, broken? Look at the floor. Anything else you got to look at? Is that his jacket? Oh, look at, look at the floor. Look at the gloves. Gloves. Oh, yeah, these are gloves. Floor. A floor. That's not. Ah, I found something good. These are huh? mechanics' gloves. You wear them during vehicle maintenance or when you're working with machinery. They look really stained with piss. I mean, with motor oil. However, they are also they are also horribly stained with shit. Uh, I mean, dirt. <laughs> Could the gloves have gotten this dirty just from maintaining the bike? Hmm. I don't really like Blaze, but these gloves are pretty cool. <laughs> Do you think we could come up with some reason to take these with us? When you say it like that, it makes hard for me to take them as evidence. Watch, it's not gonna be actually death spelt there. It's gonna be like, um, <laughs> something. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's gonna be like, uh, first, let first letters of something very important. Huh. So if it's like, dudes eat. Look at the shovel. Tacos. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Dude, eat tacos, huh? <laughs> there are large tools hanging on the wall, such as a sledgehammer and a shovel. A lot bigger than the gavel Miss Courtney carries around. <clears throat> if I ever become a judge, I'd want my gavel to be this big. Swinging such a huge gavel in court would be intolerable. Please don't. Oh, but the whip is okay, Edgeworth, huh? The whip is okay? <laughs> he likes it. Then I'll just swing that shovel that's beneath it instead! Please that has no oh. business being swung in court or, or, or elsewhere. Please don't. Watch. The fact that Kay is, like, swinging it will be a decisive fact to see if a human can swing it in that size. Yo. <laughs> thump, thump. That would I think be it's the best. Anyway. Hmm. There's someone inside. Oh God. Oh, or it's the kid. Is oh. that the FBI? Open up. I is it John? <laughs> the best has been kidnapped by himself. John, we're coming to save you. Eh? Th this is. <gasps> oh. Yo. <gasps> Yo! <laughs> You're... Sebastian! What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is Blaze's house, right? That would mean... Yes, <gasps> it should also be Sebastian's house. So then, why is he... 
Okay, go help him out. <laughs> the kid came out of the, the fucking box and then tied him up without letting him explain. And he's like, I'm not a part of this! So if he's being trapped... If it in... has to do with ropes, just leave it to Kay. Don't take oh. that out of context, I swear to God. Oh, okay. oh my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible to not take it out of context. Yeah. Here I go. A little pull over here and a quick tug over there. Voila. Are you alright, Sebastian? He looks a little worse for wear. Why were you tied up in a place like this? Uh, how should I know? You, you guys don't know anything about me! It's because we don't know. That's why we're asking you. Um. He's completely shut off his heart. Indeed. If it's come to this, I suppose I have no choice but to use that. Ah, you mean? I hate to do this when he's a. I hate to do that when he's in such a fragile state. It's like kicking a man who's down. Will it be all right? I mean, I could just talk to him. I, I mean, like he's been through a lot, Mr. Edgeworth. You don't really have to do anything like that. But it's fun, especially when it's this guy. His mind might break if you corner him too much, you know. Yes, I'm aware of that. I will try to be careful. I don't good, believe you. Good grief. I want to Great thief! <laughs> uh, <laughs> good grief, great thief. I've never held back against anyone before. Hey, <sighs> didn't you have to hold back against Kay? Oh yeah, he actually kind of did. After running out of the meeting room this morning, why would he be here of all places? You guys, you don't know how I feel. Fuck! <laughs> Whoa! This is this is bad. He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of an emotional meltdown. Okay. Ooh, I'm not ready. He's gone through a lot of shock. He must be on the verge of an emotional meltdown. It can't be helped. At times like this, I must quietly listen to what he has to say. Hmm. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> I'm always the only one being left delicate in it! Oh. Hmm. I should try to answer his questions as best as I can. See what I did there the best? Considering how fragile he is, I won't have much time to spare. Fuck! I'll need to ask him about his true feelings and try to calm him down. Prostate. Postate. No! No! Prostate. Why that? Logic Why prostate? You're a failure as a person. <laughs> oh! Could you tell me what your? Could you please tell me what's on your mind? I, I don't wanna. It's not like you listen to me anyway. Hmm. I can pretend it's not what it's saying. What's wrong? Normally you'd be shouting objection right about now. <laughs> you, you're serious? You really gonna listen to what I have to say? I can understand the shock you went through after what happened with your father. It wasn't just Bob's. This morning, I, I lost everything. Oh, you poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Just, was something stolen? Okay. Do you understand? What? What? Why? Why did that lead to that? <laughs> Please stop it already! Just leave me alone already! I can't trust anyone anymore! Curses! If I make any pointless remarks, his mind will break! Okay, luckily it's not too bad. Even so, he's someone that cries easily. Whether he's feeling down or he's losing his temper, he'll be crying either way, so I won't be able to tell the difference. I should try reading the emotion in what he's saying. Okay. Imagine. Everything I have, it was given to me by Pops. Tell me, Mr. Hedgeworth, just what am I supposed to believe in? Believe in yourself? I'm just waiting to see. Because mm. he's crying. Believe in yourself. 
If you can't oh, he says believe I have in cornered. others, <laughs> imagine <laughs> the fucking betrayal. <laughs> if you can't believe in others, then at least believe in yourself. You'll need to gain experience on your own, but if you acquire wisdom, I can lend you a hand. Oh. Uh, uh, ever since I got locked up, I've been thinking. Am I too inculpable to be prosecuted? Be, be, be a prosecutor? Uh, incapable? Uh, which one is it? <laughs> I believe it's incapable. Wait, is it? What, what do I do? Fuck. Uh, correct him. Okay. I believe incapable is the word you are looking for. Judging your own ability is not an easy task. Sebastian, little by little, you are growing. <laughs> Sebastian, would you tell me your side of the story? I, I understand. What should I talk about? Hmm. He seems to have calmed down slightly. I'd like you to tell me everything you know about the kidnappers. Thank you, game. Now then, tell me what you heard and saw. Do you have any idea who the kidnapper could be? Of course I don't! If I did, I would have told you already! Hmm. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Why were you, why were you tied up in your own home of all places? And that's why I'd like to know! I'm the victim here! I'm an idol! Hmm. I was really scared being locked up alone, you know? Hmm. Did your abductors happen to say anything to you? I don't really get it, but one of them said, Don't blame us. Blame the owner of this house. Isn't the owner Sebastian the best? Blaze the best. The owner of this house? Wouldn't that be Blaze the best? Uh, 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 Pops! Uh, I get it! Someone who hates Pops must have taken me hostage! No, considering the situation, that seems unlikely. The connection between Blaze and the kidnappers. This could be a useful clue. Ah, here we go. Do you know what the kidnappers' objective was? What are you saying? What else would a kidnapper want besides our handsome? Hmm. I don't have enough- What? Really? Okay. I thought it was that- <laughs> That line of questioning. Do you have any idea who the kidnappers could be? Blah, blah, blah. Of course I don't! Let me try using the oh, yeah. A kidnapper can easily use his own home to hold someone captive. Sebastian, you were kidnapped by your own father! <laughs> What? It can't be! He was gonna kill me because... Because I was a nuisance? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Let's encourage him? Yeah? Yeah, of course yeah. not. Would there be any reason for him to take your life? If his son was found dead in his own garage, Blaze would be suspected immediately. Oh man, I, I hate that I hate that we have to say that like, oh, it's because it was for his own, you know, interest, not because he's your fucking son, you know? I see. Then, uh, why was I kidnapped? Kidnapping his own son? I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be after any ransom money. There must be some other reason why Blaze ordered the kidnapping. This could be a useful clue. Na -na 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 -na. Let me try using that clue. Kidnapping his own son in order to demand a ransom wouldn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Did you notice anything strange when you got kidnapped? Ooh, as soon as I answered their question, they just took me away. They asked you a question. Tell me what they asked you. Um, I think they asked me, do you know Courtney? I see. The pieces of the puzzle are starting to fall into place. There is nothing to explain. <laughs> Blaze and the kidnappers did not intend to kidnap you. 
Their objective was John Marsh. They were planning to kidnap Judge Courtney's son in order to have Patricia Rowland declared not guilty. Justine has a son? And why did Roland get declared not guilty? Yes, she has a son. And trust me the best, it's not you. I suspect... Oh, the but she's my mommy! <laughs> hey, see? I suspect the kidnappers mistook you for John Marsh. All of this was just a mistake? Wait, maybe that's why back then? Hmm? Do you just remember something? No, it's just nothing. It's useless anyways. Just, just leave me alone already. This is bad. He might be at his emotional limit. I must get him to tell me what he remembered and try to calm him down as well. Thank you, game. Based on how distressed Sebastian looks right now. Whew, it must have been quite dramatic. I'll need to help him get back on his feet. What did you remember just now? I, I didn't remember anything. About Poe. Uh, that guy. About Blaze? Will that guy happen to be Blaze? <laughs> Darn it! Ooh, so this is the difference between me and someone who earned his prosecutor title. I've been wanting to ask you, why did you become a prosecutor? What does it matter? I'm not fit to be a prosecutor anyways. It fits me quite well. It fits me, it fits me quite like... well. <laughs> Say something! You must have some reason for choosing this path, right? No, no, it's not like that. It wasn't anything special. I became prosecutor for a really insignificant reason. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it was just a personal reason. <laughs> just like you, I too became a prosecutor for a personal reason. And just like Phoenix. Uh, is that true? But you're a really successful prosecutor. I'm sure that Pops, the PIC chairman, would have been more proud of you than me. <laughs> You wanted your father's approval? Hurry yeah. up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah go for it. <laughs> We're gonna talk. I see. So you wanted your father's approval. <laughs> Ooh. I thought that if I became the best prosecutor, he'd be proud of me. Aww. That's why I, I just wanted to help out Pops as much as I could. Oh my god. Would you happen to be protecting your father? Well, I, I don't have any reason to protect someone like him. Didn't you want to help your father? Didn't you uh, want to help out your father as much as you could? Uh, 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 just once. I only wanted to be useful to Pops just this once. That way, I could help him regain his repetition. You seem to be mixing up your words again. The word you're looking for is reputation. Uh, uh, no one's ever told me that before. What? Your father, who has strayed from his path, continues to add to his crimes. Even knowing that, do you truly want things to stay the way they are? But in that case, just what am I supposed to do? You should triumph over your father, who has treated you like a fool. You must stop Blaze before he commits another crime. Uh, I never thought of it that way. I, I want to triumph over Pops. Hmm. Somehow it seems he has calmed down once again. Now's my chance to ask him about Blaze's secret. Christ, thank you, game. I will give Sebastian the courage to stand up to his father. Oh, God. Um, mm, 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 mm. Second one. What? No. Okay. It seems that the evidence regarding Patricia Brello never made it to the trial. It's the duty of a prosecutor to watch over evidence. Did you take care of it properly? That's not it. I just listen to what I have to say. Hmm. I thought I would keep it the safest place I knew. <laughs> what have I done? I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. 
Was there some connection between your father and Patricia Rowland? I, I'm sorry, I don't really know. Every tiny bit helps. Can you remember anything at all? Uh, I think sometimes they would interact with each other during work, but... Um, was there something else? Yep. But, is there something else on your mind? <laughs> Apparently, Pops is the one who recommended Roland to be the warden. Oh. Was there a reason for Blaze to recommend her? Uh, probably because, uh, unlike me, Pops actually cares about her. This is not the time to be jealous? Wait and see. Well, Pops has known her since he first became the chief prosecutor, after all. What was he like when he was the chief prosecutor? Oh, Pops was amazing. He took, he looked every single piece of evidence that went through the prosecutor's office. He looked over every single piece of evidence. This could be a major clue. Uh... Oh, oops, I forgot. <laughs> Hmm. He seems to have become unsettled again. I suppose I should lend him a hand. The place you thought would be the safest, would that have been in Blaze the Best's hands? <laughs> he told me that it would be safer if he took good care of the evidence. I'm sorry, but he has betrayed your trust in the worst way possible. Pops, why would you want to hide the evidence? To leave the trial and decided. Yeah? <laughs> Blaze's objective was to have Warden Roland found not guilty by obscuring the truth. Sebastian, you were used by your own father. <laughs> It's possible that Blaze de Best has the evidence with him. Furthermore, we still have no idea where John is. I must return to my investigation post-haste. However, you use that word a lot. This is, this is all my fault. What am I going to do now? Seeing him like this, I can't just leave him be. He's still suffering in the gap between his ideal and reality. He will never move on until he figures out, figures out how to live his own is life. That sound? That's Shaw, I think. No, Shaw's muted. What? Oh, then I think it's Julio. Wait, what sound? Ah, it's your microphone. It's shaking a bit. Kind of like oh, how, kind of like how Shaw's mic was rattling yesterday. I see. Even the light to have. I see. <laughs> Sebastian is about to face his greatest trial. Perhaps this is fate. I shall give him the push forward that he needs. Hmm. Second one, second one. Okay. It's always the second one. Will you- Shaw said she got kicked out. Huh? Shaw said she got kicked out. Kicked out? Is she homeless oh, now? She got kicked oh, out okay. of the house. <laughs> uh, she's good now. She got kicked out of her house, what happened? Just like you. <laughs> no! Will you? Well, technically, you got trapped okay, in the inside. Sex. The way that's true. <laughs> that's a complete opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Will you continue to ignore the truth, just like your father? Please stop it already! I don't want your buddy. Just leave me alone. No, you're supposed to correct him again. Are you serious? Oh, and now you're ignoring me. You just came to laugh at me, didn't you? How about another joke, Mr. Edgeworth? I, Calm I, down. I think he wants to be corrected because um, either one, he wants Edgeworth to teach him, or second, he wants someone to actually correct his faults and not always be put on a pedestal like his uh, father, father oh, did. Oh, so I have to be aggressive, not really aggressive, but just like I actually have to act here. Parental. Yeah, you have to, have you have to, to be doing what he didn't figure. have. Yeah, oh you just came God. here to laugh at me, Mr. Edgeworth. You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> 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 okay, it seems I waited a little too long. Even so, he's someone that cries easily. Whether he's feeling down or he's losing his temper. He'll be crying either way, so I won't be able to tell the difference. I should try reading the emotion of what he's saying. Will you continue the burn and I want your putty to leave me alone? I don't want your putty! I didn't mean to pity you. 
No. What? You're supposed to I correct him. Supposed to correct him. What? Oh. When he gets he words said, wrong. He, he said, in, um, like repetitions have reputation last time. Yeah. So I said putty. You mean it means pity. Really? Well, we're really gonna have to fucking clutch this okay, now. Fine. Oh my god. You just came to laugh at me again. All right. Oh god, it's risky. I don't want your buddy to leave me alone. I believe pity is the word you're looking for. Uh, oh, really? I also have my own reasons for wanting to speak with you. There was a time when I too did not did not seek the truth and continue to run away from it. However, thanks to a certain friend, I was able to realize my mistake. Oh, is that your boyfriend? <laughs> That's nice. You're lucky, Mr. Edgeworth. I don't have anyone like that. <laughs> I, I will show you the way. Yeah. You know Do you know the, the way? way. Do you if you know have the, the courage to stand up, <laughs> I will show you the way. Show me the way. Do you know it? What? <laughs> Only if you have the will for it, though. I, I don't want to be like that. So he wants to surpass his from his own father. I understand his feelings clearly now. What, will you continue to be a prosecutor? Third one, third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you still intend to continue as a prosecutor? I don't really know. It's not like I became a prosecutor on my own. Because of that, do I even have the right to continue being a prosecutor? Decide that for yourself? Yep. Yes. Whether or not you continue as a prosecutor is something you must decide for yourself. <laughs> Only you can determine your path in life. I I don't want to stop being a prosecutor. Because if I give up now, I know I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. So, he wants to continue to live as a prosecutor. I shall keep his will in mind. Sebastian says that he wants to surpass his father and continue to be a prosecutor. In other words, he wants to be a different prosecutor from his father. It's the first chance he's arrived at it on his own. I'm sure if he has the will, he'll find his way. What do you plan to do from here on? <laughs> first, I'm returning this red jacket. I'm not fit to wear it. Clothes fake the man, I think. That's what Pops used to say. Yo, he knew all along I was a fake. Clothes make the man. It would look much better on me. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> It's not fake. The saying is clothes make the man. You are what you wear. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. I've learned something new yet again. Y yes, all you have to do now is become a prosecutor who is fit to wear that jacket. Yeah, I'll do my best. That way no one will ever make fun of me again. But, how can I get people to accept me? What do I do? I don't know what to do. For goodness sake, don't you remember your own words? Perhaps his own will can show him the way. As a prosecutor, didn't you want to walk a different path from your father? Certainly the path you have chosen is not an easy one. Nevertheless, you still chose to live as a prosecutor. In that case, it should be clear to you what you need to do. <laughs> I still question how I live my life to this day. But you, Sebastian, have found your own answer. So believe in yourself, prosecutor the best. I... <laughs> he was mistaken for John and kidnapped by Blaze's underlings. And after his father stole his evidence, he lost confidence his... He lost his... Yeah, he lost his confidence as a prosecutor. The emotions he is going through must be more painful than anything I could ever imagine. Mm. It's taken longer than I thought, but with that, it's checkmate. <laughs>